Hi, good morning everyone from a very sunny Antigua and it's day six. It's absolutely boiling already. It's beautiful. We've never been here before, so this is the first. We're gonna have a good explore. There's two ships in already today. We've got Regency, uh, no, Silver Seas is in, and the Insignia, but I don't know what this the company of the Insignia is, but hey ho. And we're off very shortly, early start this morning, and we're going to Nelson's Dockyard. Should be fun day, I think. So hopefully we'll learn a little bit, and also we've got a boat ride in the harbor. So join us later to see how day and whether we enjoyed it or not. And then of course we had early breakfast because we were going out again. Early start, wasn't it? We bought the trip on the cruise planner before we left and it was £69 each. And it was for a three and a half hour, it was advertised as a three and a half hour trip. And so when we get off the ship, it's quite easy. You have instructions on your ticket and it's easy to find the rep when you get off the ship to line up for your cruise. No. Cruise? We're on a cruise. You mean trip? I meant trip. No, no. What's he like? So, of course, then, obviously, we um, we boarded. Uh, I can't remember. I'm terrible at remembering things, shall I say. But I can't remember how good job he's got me. <laughs> it is. Where we got on to our trip. I can't remember where we went to. Yeah, you, you get off the boat, and then you find that there's all sort of boards with what trips. Yeah. And then you just follow the rep, and they'll take you so to the pretty, coach. So pretty easy then. Yeah, so. and of course, we had good transport again, didn't we? It was another sort of mini coach. We had good transport, and a, I can't remember for the life of her name, but a great yeah. guide. She was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, she was I, lovely. Really nice girl. And, she, and as we made our way to Nelson's boatyard, she, um, she gave us lots of information as we passed certain places. She did, she did. And when we got there, if I remember rightly, it was absolutely boiling that day. It was so hot, yeah. but it was absolutely stunning when we got there. I didn't realise, I'd never even heard of Nelson's Dockyard before, but it was beautiful. Yeah. I've, I've seen pictures, so that's why I wanted oh. to go, because the harbour looks absolutely beautiful, and it didn't disappoint. Did but it, it wasn't even just the harbour, it was the buildings and the history. Yeah. I mean, oh... If if you go to the Caribbean and you get a chance to go to Antigua, go to Nelson's Dockyard. It is stunning. So when we arrived at Nelson's Dockyard, it was very hot, I remember. So they marched us straight down into the dockyard and um, straight to a little boat trip. Yeah, yeah we, were, we were going to have a boat tour around the harbour. And again, the, the harbour was absolutely spectacular. It was. Um, if I remember rightly, we went out past some beautiful, gorgeous... Um, Yachts, yachts and stuff yeah lots but of yachts there we went out through the um the harbor and we came out into the sea and there was like um there was these really strange um columns do you remember them yeah. built, on, built into the um what into they called the, the salt pillar columns something, something like that, that. Something, something really strange but a really nice formation and we had yeah. a little look around the yeah, port. we managed to get to see them later didn't we we did and can you remember i had that really strange underwater shot where look at antennas underwater oh yeah. god yeah you dipped the yeah. rod the water. weird weird <laughs> Um, but but then, of course, the boat, oh, the, the harbour was very protected for the British Army, um, British Army, the British Navy used to uh, put the boats there, didn't they? They because did. It was, it protected. was protected from hurricanes um, because it was so far in. Uh, it gave them great protection during any sort of like um, hurricane, but it also gave them great advantages, yeah. I think, from yeah. any naval um, battles that they yeah. have with the French. And of course, Lord Nelson lived at the dockyard, so hence why it's got its name. And it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Can now. I just say though, Mike, not only Nelson lived there, but Eric Clapton lived there as well. When we got back from the boat trip, which which was really good, um, we were taken to a little bar and we watched as we had a rum cocktail prepared. Ah, oh, that was lovely, that one as well. I've not had it before, with cinnamon. It was strong though. Yeah, but it was lovely though, wasn't it? it was Fruity nice. and cinnamon. Oh, cr very Christmassy. Very apt. And then once they got us drunk, they said to soft to look round. Yeah. Fortunately, we only had one, so we did. We did, we did. <laughs> uh, and then we... Um, we went, went and looked to explore, didn't we? A couple of the buildings there. Yeah. I found an old red telephone box. A whole British telephone box, yes, yeah. you did. And we also looked inside this hotel, which is, I think, a hotel and restaurant. And it was so pretty inside. It was very pretty, yeah. And then, of course, there was lots of the historic buildings around the... I'm trying to remember. There was, like the, the, there was the bakery. The pitch and tar store. Um, the, what was that one with the columns? The sail the loft. Salt, salt. Oh, the sail loft. And then there was the salt... Salt pillar? <laughs> Bear with. It was the sail loft pillars. Sail loft pillars, That's yeah. the one. Um, but honestly, though... I was nowhere close. No. <laughs> 
some fantastic buildings there to be seen and explored as well. And if I remember rightly, there's a lot of historical plaques around so you can sort of see what you're looking at. Yeah, so we had quite a bit of time there to just take our time looking around and it, it is a beautiful place. And I think, although it was £69, I think it was worthwhile. So when we arrived back um, at the ship, at the port, we um, went out to try and find ourselves some Wi-Fi because obviously we needed to catch up with things. And we saw a sign saying super Wi-Fi. Yeah, we did, but it wasn't very super, was it? No, we went to a bar that had got free Wi-Fi advertised, went upstairs, got charged a fortune for drink. It was $5 each per drink, which we've now found out is a going rate in the port. So if you want to be in the port, don't go to anything right by the ship. Go a bit further out. And do not ex expect super fast Wi-Fi because no. like everywhere else we went in the Caribbean, it was very slow and, and frustrating. It was, but after we finished there, we then went for a little walk around the town because I think our friends wanted to buy some goods. Um, we had a little look, didn't we? Yeah, I wanted to get a shirt, didn't I? A T-shirt. You did. did they not have, no, they didn't have my size in stock. No, you, you found them when you wanted to be in every size. It was exciting, yeah. though. There was a lot to see, a lot of shops, markets, yeah. that sort of stuff. So there's loads going yeah, on walk in the town. And even yeah. the port shops, if I remember, were very nice, I, um, very neat. Yeah, very neat place. And then after that, we went round the corner um, to another bar where we paid $5 again for a beer. But it was a much better bar. Wi-Fi was a bit better. And the, the owner came out and chatted with us. Lovely guy. Oh, yeah. Where was he from now? Um, he was American. No, he was, yeah, he was American. Yeah. But he moved out there um, to, well, he's an entrepreneur, basically. Yeah, I wish I could remember the name of the bar. That evening was the first evening we didn't go to the show. Uh, the show was Christmas at Sea. And we knew that was repeated exactly the same show in the second week. But we had instead... The hottest tickets on the ship. We did. We had tickets for the exchange for the lock-in show, which we managed to book on the cruise planner. It's under speciality restaurants, which is a bit strange because there's no food involved. Yeah. But they were £15.95 each, and we managed to get in for the 6.30pm showing. We did, and if you want to go, please, guys, make sure that you get that book straight away because it sells out fast. It is. You need to be going on Cruise Planner every day till it's there because they will. I think they can only take in about 35 people per performance. It's quite small show, yeah. isn't it? And it is so popular, they've increased it from two performances a week to four. Yeah, but did you tell them how much it was? 15, yeah, £15.95. And... You get you don't get food. No, you don't get food, but you get three signature cocktails. Now that might sound a lot, but when you look at how much a signature cocktail is, if you're not on the premium package, it's not bad. And if you remember, Dave, there were telephones at each of the tables that you could ring up, and blokes dressed like Peaky Blinders with the cap and the braces would bring you the drinks that you ordered. It's designed like a um, oh, what's it's it like called? It's like a thirty speakeasy. Speakeasy, that's the one. Yes. And so, the bar is like Art Deco style, isn't it? It is, and I think the the theme was very much um, Art Deco, nineteen forty sort of like secret party. Um, it was fantastic. And a couple of tips for you. Firstly, we did not dress up because I said to him, "Oh, people will think you're part of the thing if you dress up." People were dressing up in their thirties gear. And I thought it was absolutely wonderful. Well, of course, I just said 40s, didn't I? Yeah, if we go again, then I think we would definitely dress up. So if you do get the hottest ticket, by the way, uh, I would think about dressing up for the occasion because it, it certainly adds to it. And of course, the other tip is beware of the menu, the drinks menu, because every drink in there is a premium drink. So I'm not sure whether you can order. We didn't need to because we found the three cocktails. Oh, it, it lasted you the whole time. Yeah, yeah. We, so we didn't order any additional drinks, but I'm not yeah. sure whether you could order something that was You can, because on the second time we went, people were ordering additional ah, drinks. Right, that's why. Then. So you can. So it all starts basically um, the afternoon before you are due to go to the exchange or the heist, uh, the lock-in or the heist. Uh, and we opened our door to find a very special letter. Now, the letter contained um, basically what was going to happen and um, something that's very important, the dress code and um, I won't show you the, pass <laughs> the, 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 the password, but there's a password in there as well. And the password is relevant for when you go to the entrance. And can you remember where the entrance was? Yeah, it was on deck eight. And okay. as you come out the lift, I think you go right 
and it's just around the corner. Well, you go left out of the lift and it's there on your right. Um, but you basically have to um, be invited in to the phone booth by the person, the host on the front. And then the phone, you have to use the phone and ring, was it one hash or something like that? It was something like yeah, one was, hash. Yeah. At where you are um, answered by um, a lovely little voice behind the thing, which was, um, I've forgotten the name. I want to say Monica, but it's not Monica. Monica's a proper name. Is it Monica? Okay. Yeah. I can't remember her character name, but you were greeted by her and you had to give the password and she asked some hilarious questions. Um, and with answering correctly, they then opened the door to let us in. I think you put on a bit of an accent, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> and when we got inside, we were greeted by two men. I can't remember their character. So we had a brilliant evening and we will show you some clips just to give you a little taste of just how good the exchange and the lock-in is. the absolute amazing time didn't we Dave? We did, I enjoyed it I, well, I know our friends enjoyed it, they had the best time I think. I don't think I've laughed so much in oh, in an evening in a long time. I don't think I felt as drunk off three drinks as I did in an evening in a long time. <laughs> it is sing along, the a band come in and play the singing and the three main characters are just absolutely funny. So, so professional definitely try and get yourself a ticket, yeah. it's so worth it Yes. And tomorrow, day seven. Yes. What we got coming up, Dave? So we are at the port of, oh, refresh me, refresh me. Dominica. Dominica, that's the one. And this was an amazing port for us, because especially our friends, because we did some things we never thought we'd do before. We did things like river tubing. Um, we went they to see... in a river tube. We did, just. <laughs> um, we went to see the most beautiful waterfall, and I almost got bit by a crab. Um, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that one. Brilliant trip tomorrow, and also uh, we've got Band Jam, which oh, yes. are where all the bands on the ship come together. So make sure you join us tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>